off rep, superstars, media. My people, my people, my BFM people, how on a day? I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending from where you listen to the sound of my voice. This is the Biafra Superstars Media, and I'm holding it down. I say may God bless Biafra, and may God bless His Excellency. May God bless, may God bless His Excellency, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic of Benton Exile. His Excellency, E.S.N. Ekba, Simon and Joko, for the job Simon is doing. Simon, I want to say we thank you. We appreciate you, we love you, because we know in your hands Biafra is coming. In your hands, Biafra is safe. And in your hands, when Biafra comes, the people of Biafra will rejoice. My fellow Biafrans, I want you to listen to this caller you're about to hear. Because this is a very good example, a classic example, to let you know what is about to come in Nigeria. When we keep on telling the Igbos, the Biafrans, those from the eastern region, to be careful because they don't love you. I want you to hear this information from the caller. And you could tell that this man has been listening to Obatobie Simon Ekba. He's been listening to Nanda Kano. And he's also been listening to my humble self. If you're ready, let's go there. Listen. Right. This is C2 calling for free town, Sierra Leone. Hey, C2. Nothing is free even in free town, no. Mm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Nothing is free. You got to work for it, just like the way we do every morning. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my lovely sister, I want to say something very important to hear. Mm. Um, it's, um, I'm happy. I'm happy that Nigerians are beginning to witness some evidence. And this 21st century, I am so happy. You know why I'm so happy? Uh, Sister Cotillia, because there's some hidden things uh, that was um, been hidden to Nigerians for the past how many years? For the past 50 or 60 years, pertaining Igbo people in Nigeria. Why I'm saying why I'm saying all these things is for people to begin to understand. We don't know where this hatred came from. This particular hatred. We don't know exactly. I've been asking some Nigerians where exactly this hatred of Ndibo came from. Now, this is the reason why Namde Khan was asking, allow my people to go. This is what, what you see now happening. I thank God for social media because something that you, the, something somebody say to you is different from something you see on social media. Now, the history of Nigeria was hidden for Nigerians not to understand and not to know the history of Nigeria. Exactly the atrocity they committed against my people. But now we have been seeing it this 21st century. Everybody's witnessing it now. I want to, people to ask me what is the crime of Igbo people in Nigeria? Okay. Nobody can even say to me, this is their crime. Okay. But I want to say something very clear here to my people that Ten is seconds. listening to my voice. Ten more seconds. Okay. Yes. Uh, Sister Cordelia, mm -hmm. you know, history will eventually repeat himself. We are the victims of Nigeria. It's been written and it's been proved that Gowan single-handedly invade my people and massacre almost 7 point something million of Ndibo. Right. And we have seen the history trying to repeat himself again. Teach but we will never allow it to happen. All right, thank you so. for giving this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our so. sister Cordelia did not give him enough time to go deeper into what he was saying in his submission. But at this point, I want you all to understand. I will expand on what this man is saying. He said, history will repeat itself again. The way it happened in 1966, in the case of Chukuma Unziogu, thanks to the guy that corrected me, I was calling him Chukwemeka Unziogu. The way it happened in the case of Kaduna Unziogu, where some young military men, military men that called the civilians bloody civilians, it shows that the military and the civilians, they have nothing in common. Their ideology is different. Their way of life is different. Their culture is different. The way they see the country they serve is different. So the Nigerian military, they are not synonymous to the civilians. Because they have a different lifestyle. 
their circle is different they live in the barracks the civilians they live in a community in an avenue in a civilized place or whatever you, you, you want to call it it's different but in 1966 we saw what happened to the Igbos. we saw the pogrom from the north during that time it was a case of the north that gave the indigo the eastern region a bad name just to hang them to crucify us, they gave us a bad name. A couple of soldiers from different tribes, they carried out a coup, a military coup. But somehow from the north, they spin the story and said it was an Igbo coup. The Igbos were responsible. And since 1966 till date, 58 years and counting, 58 years and counting, we have been pillaged, we have not been forgiven, they have hated on the Igbos with a the passion. They condemned us to die that a man like Gowon, he made sure he buyed more than 7 million Biafrans. Over a lie said by the Northerners in 1966 during the military coup. All they had to do was to spin the news, tag it to be an Iboku, and suddenly the, all the other tribes in Nigeria, they bought that news because they have hatred for the Igbos. I would say that was the first time that that real seed of discord was planted in Nigeria by the Caliphate. And now in 2024, the same thing is about to happen again. To call a spade a spade, those who have come out to be the pioneers, those who have come out to be the so-called headliners of the forthcoming protest. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Suddenly, those we have seen as the spearhead of the protest, at least, Shawara has come out to speak. We have heard from the Northerners. They end bad governance. We've heard from the North as the youths of the North. They have come out to speak. But somehow, they have still been able to spin this in around. And now they are saying the Igbos are responsible. To the youths out there in Nigeria, those who say they believe in Nigeria, those who till this day, you don't know why you have hatred for the Igbos. Those till this day, you have a suspicion for the Igbos. Once they call the name Igbo, Omo Igbo, Omo Okoro, once you hear that thing, something inside of you will release this hatred, this tribalism from nowhere. You become defensive. You stop thinking rationally. Suddenly now, the protest now, they are saying the Igbos are responsible. In 1966, it was the North that put that blame on the Igbos. And now, in 2024, unfortunately, Tinubu and his Afonjas, his loyalists, they are the one now putting the same... Lord have mercy. Ah! The pain is too much because this, this is something Ojuku saw. Ojuku saw this coming. All these things could have been avoided. He saw this coming in 1966. In 1967, they went to Aburi to iron this thing out. Him and Gowon, the one they called Jack, they agreed on everything. This could have been avoided. But Gowon went to war to keep the Biafrans in Nigeria. There was a genocide because when you go to war, at least you only fight the military from the other side. But in this case, civilians were buried, children were buried, women were raped and the rest of them. Youths, boys, young boys were buried. If you are below 15 years old and they suspect you are a soldier, they cut off your three fingers. The one they call the trigger finger. The man they call go on, did it. In 1966, 1967. And suddenly, Tinobu, 
a man who i don't believe he's a yoruba because we we saw his passports with all due respect we saw his passport what will he be doing with an african passport somebody like, like me in the name of god what will i be looking for with a different african passport that tells you he still holds very dearly to guinea for the fact we saw a passport that expired in 2019 it shows you how closely he still holds that country called guinea but the yorubas they've chose to claim it as their son fine to each its own but now the same Tinubu who is a foreigner he is now applying the same script the blueprint of the caliphate to give a dog a bad name just to hang it they want to spin things around they have not mentioned the name of Showare. they have not mentioned the northern youths talking about their pre-protest they've spent around and now they are blaming Nnam the Kano. they are blaming Simon Nekma yesterday Sh Shetima said those who are responsible are some people in, in America in Australia and Finland that was a dog we whistle put in finland there you 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 all know why he put fin, uh, fin, finland there because our prime minister is based in finland so today i want to call out those who believe in one nigeria you claim to be fair you claim to be just in your approach you say you genuinely love nigeria but again you see what the politicians are doing putting the name of the Igbos to be slaughtered just this morning, they are saying, those in Lagos, if you want to protest, go back to, to your state. Suddenly now, if you are living in, in, in Lagos, you pay your, your tax in Lagos. Now, when it comes to their politics, they say, go back to your state. What state are they talking about? I thought you believe in one Nigeria. If a man works in, in Lagos State, has a business in Lagos State, he is married in Lagos State, he was born in Lagos State, he has his children in Lagos State, which other state are you telling him to go to? in your so-called one nigeria that's the dog whistle because this time i will hold the afonjas to account not the real yorubas not those ones that believe in yoruba nation or the ones that believe in odudua because i want to believe deep inside they are different i want to believe they are different but do not allow this man called jagaban to spin things around again and put the neck the head of the Igbos to be slaughtered that's my only anger those that are still based in Lagos we have told you to get away from the Yoruba land and come back to the southeast come back to the eastern region but you have chosen to be stubborn we have told you to leave those places because you are making us to be emotionally you know drained and, and stressed because whenever we are, we are saying we are living we keep seeing you guys in lagos in the north and all those things it is a problem you put us in a quagmire it is confusing that every time they are doing their politics they blame the ebos what have we done when you trace it we have never fought any other tribe or nation to steal their land the hausa they were conquered by the fulani the yoruba some other places they conquered to take those lands they even you know they partnered with the fulanis afonja he partnered with the man they call alimi that was how they lost elore because the son of alimi Abdul Salami now said he is the strongest man in that land. And he'll become the ruler. He became the first emir of Ilore. And before you knew it, by, by proxy, the Yorubas they lost that place. So we are the ones that have never fought with any other tribe. But we are still be, the ones still being blamed for everything. I want you all to watch out from the 1st of August. Watch what these guys they will do. It's a new tactics to try to distract the beer fronts, which is why I'm saying that Shoreb must take ownership 
of his um, revolution now started from the fifth his own starts from the fifth he needs to take ownership he needs to take ownership because with the beer france we have our own blueprint to leave nigeria and it does not start from the first of august we have our own blueprint to leave nigeria it does not start from the first of august i rest my case for those who have ears let them hear for those who have ears let them hear thank you yeah check me out superstars media oh uh. Lord Lugard, Bloomington Lord Lugard, and it's why Flora Show, 1914 Amalgamation, is what we dying for. Three nations to one nation, ever since annihilation, nepotism is nonsense. You and you, clap your hand, clap your hands. Biafra gonna come, clap your hand, clap your hands. Uh, Biafra, Odudua, we're free now. Freedom is gonna come, we're free now. Yeah.